Hello, America. So today I made a trip to the Dollar General because I needed me some duct tape. Well, when I went over to get the duct tape, I saw that there was actually two more brand name tapes available. Gorilla Tape and another tape called T-Rex Tape. And I thought to myself, oh, so there's competition for the old school duct tape now, is it? And I figured, why not do a little experiment to see which of these tapes is the best? Will it be the old school duct tape that all of us rednecks have relied on for centuries to do the job and hold cars together and everything else? Or will it be the newcomers, Gorilla Tape? Or will it be the T-Rex Tape? So I'm gonna conduct different experiments with each tape and we're gonna see who takes home the trophy. So I really wasn't sure how much tape I would need for this experiment. So I just bought every roll that the Dollar Central had, okay? I spent $200 on duct tape, T-Rex tape, and Gorilla tape. $189 in duct tape. $189, I'm in the hole, $189 already. 20, 40, 60, 80. That's $200, right there, $200, mm -hmm. yeah. I better make, if I don't make my money back off this, I gotta make $200 to break even <laughs> on this video. <laughs> I would think that this should be enough to get me through the experiment. Uh, now, be with me and pray for me as I go tell my wife that I just spent $200 on tape. I just wanted to tell you, that I love you, and I just spent $200 on duct tape. <laughs> Two, you don't love me. <laughs> so before we get to testing, let's talk about the price of these rolls of tape, okay? Now this duct tape right here is 30 yard. That is 30 yard of tape. I paid $4, $4 for this 30 yard roll of duct tape. This T-Rex tape here, this T-Rex tape is, is 12 yard. 12 yard, I paid $5.50 for this T-Rex tape, okay? For 12 yard. This Gorilla tape, I paid $6.50 for this Gorilla tape. And it is 10 yard. I paid $6.50 for 10 yard of Gorilla tape. Boy, Gorilla tape, you better be good, okay? Gorilla tape better be able to pick up my freaking truck, all right? for $6.50 for 10 yards, Jesus. So first we're gonna do what I like to call the brake test. We're gonna take each one of these tapes at a time. We're gonna put my wrist together and we're gonna wrap the tape around my wrist two times and see which one of these tapes is harder for me to break out of. All right, so the first tape that we will be using for the brake test is the duct tape. You know, they was using duct tape back in the Civil War to wrap around our muskets and stuff. So we're gonna go with the duct tape first. Here we go. Let's see if we can break it. All right. Fwata! Fwata! I gotta do the hunching maneuver. All right, here we go. Fwata! Oh! Ha! That duct tape didn't stand a chance against my pyre. Now on to the Gorilla tape. God, this Gorilla tape stinks. That is the stinkiest stuff I've ever smelled in my life. There we go, right there. Yep. Phew. Hard to tell. Can't break out of it, it's gonna make me gag. Every kidnapper is watching this right now and they're like, okay, which one can he not break out of? Which one do I need to use? What? What? What y'all looked at right there? That is $6.50 Gorilla Tape that I just tore through like it was a sheet of one-ply toilet paper. Speaking of toilet paper, this stuff smells like somebody wiped their butt with it. This is the stinkiest stuff I've ever smelled. Up next is our third contestant, the T-Rex Tape. This stuff better be strong, all right? Any tape named after the most ferocious, strongest dinosaur better be strong. If I rip through this stuff as easy as I did them other two tapes, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna contact them and say, you need to change the name of that tape. Change it to some weaker animal, okay? It don't deserve to be called T-Rex. That's one. Mm, that's two. Okay, here we go. This is the T-Rex tape. <laughs> Maybe the T-Rex is a little stronger. <laughs> it ain't gonna defeat me though. I'm strong. <laughs> we have a challenge. <laughs> 
<laughs> the T-Rex tape, which is cheaper than the Gorilla tape, but more expensive than the duct tape, is giving me a lot more issues. God dang it. All right, last try. Last try. It looks like the T-Rex tape might win. <laughs> dang. Nope. This, this is freaking coming off. <laughs> so T-Rex tape definitely won this competition. For our next test, we're going to see which of these tapes can hold my 200-pound frame the best as I am lifted into the air. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take that vest right there. I'm going to put it on. We're going to take the tape and we're going to attach the vest to the bar of the tractor. I will just be hanging from the bar of the tractor by these tapes. And we're going to see which one can hold me the best. My first contestant is the duct tape. It broke. The duct tape failed to pick me up. I didn't get off the ground. Okay, that was a uh, that was eight wraps, eight layers. All right. Next up, T Rex tape. Oh, and by the way, please do not try this at home. Okay, me and Bobby is trained professionals. We don't have a certificate or nothing. Uh, I didn't go to stuntman school, but I mean, you see the stuff we do. We professionals. All right, this is the T-Rex tape. <laughs> oh! Well, the T-Rex tape holds! Well, I hear it popping! It's good! Hey! <laughs> it takes a So the T-Rex tape picked me up with absolutely no issue. I actually felt like I was being picked up by the jowls of a T-Rex. That's how strong his stuff was. Our next contestant is the Gorilla Tape. Let me see if I can break it. I'm gonna pull the tractor. It ain't breaking. Bobby just got on the phone and walked off and left me. Now if something was to happen, like if, it was, if a grizzly bear or something was to come up, I'd have to fight it. So the winner of test number two, it was a tie between Gorilla Tape and T-Rex Tape. Duck Tape didn't win this one. On to our next test. You see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a rope out of each one of these rows. I'm gonna use the whole row and I'm gonna make a rope. I'm gonna hook one side of that rope up to my tow hitch. Then I'm gonna hook the other side of the rope up to Bobby's tow hitch and I'm gonna pull his truck. And we're gonna see which one of these rolls of tape can withstand pulling that 5,000 pound truck the best. Our first contestant will be the duct tape. Let's get to wrapping. Now I bet that lady in the Dollar General was probably thinking to herself, all right, we got a freak on our hands here. What is this fella gonna be doing with all this duct tape, huh? They gonna be doing some funky stuff? Police will probably show up at my house. Hey son, why is you buying all that duct tape? And what I'll do is I'll make sure Leah walks up to the door with her hands duct taped up and her mouth duct taped, you know what I'm saying? Give them a little scare, <laughs> then I'll go to jail. I, I ain't, I probably won't do that now that I thought about it, bad idea. All right, I'm French braiding it. We're gonna give it some tensile strength or whatever. I don't even know what a tensile is. That's never made sense to me. Somebody says tensile strength. Hey, what is a tensile? Why is it so strong? You know what I'm saying? Look, we braiding it up real good. Now, ow, God dang it, oh, my thumb. I have created the duct tape rope. This is a whole row of duct tape. 
Now I'm gonna take my truck and I'm gonna see if I can pull his truck with the duct tape rope. The duct tape rope worked. I pulled a 5,000 pound truck with one roll of duct tape. Next up in the contest, we have the T-Rex tape. So we about to see if this mammer jammer here is as tough as the duct tape. Now remember that duct tape, I pulled Bobby's truck. He went and pulled me back and it ripped. Now let's see what this old stuff right here can do. So that there is the T-Rex tape rope. So I would say right now, the duct tape is in first place. This here is the Gorilla tape. Okay, we've done the duct tape. We have done the T-Rex tape. Now, last but not least, is the Gorilla tape. You telling me I just spent like $7 for a roll of Gorilla tape that literally just pulled Bobby's truck half an inch? Well, I'd say that it's pretty obvious that duct tape just came away with the win in the pulling contest. Now, the T-Rex tape came in close second because it did pretty good. And coming in last was the Gorilla tape. The most expensive tape with the least amount on the roll done the worst in the pulling contest. Paying for Gorilla tape is about like paying for a prostitute to give you a back rub. It don't even make no sense. All right, for one last test, I am going to make a wall with each one of these tapes and see which one is the hardest to run through. I kind of double walled this tape, okay? So there's one on the inside here and there's one on the outside right there. Cause I feel like if it was just one line, that'd be too easy. All right, here we go. Let me strap my hammock. Things could get nasty. So attempt number one. Pretty strong. I ain't moving my whole car for it. Yeah! <laughs> All right. It took three attempts to break the duct tape. Now, on to the T Rex tape. Now, I did the same thing to the T Rex tape as I did the duct tape. You got a layer right here. You got a layer right here. Two layers, one in the front, one in the back. Here we go. So right now, the T-Rex tape is in the lead. Next up, we have the Gorilla tape. I want all of you out there to imagine being my wife. Just for one minute, just close your eyes and just imagine the stuff that she is told. You know, imagine the stuff that I walk up on her and tell her that I buy. How mad would you be? Hmm? Would you contemplate divorce? Hmm? Would you? You know she's got to be faithful to live with a fella like me. Let's see how many attempts it takes to run through the Gorilla Tape wall. All right, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's one. One, two, three, go. Woo, all right. Okay, well, it did snap at him right there. Whoa. It took three attempts to get through that Gorilla Tape, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, for $6.50, it should have took a lot more than that. So, once again, the Gorilla Tape, in my opinion, comes in last. T-Rex takes first place, Duct Tape takes second, and Gorilla Tape takes third. With all tests being complete, I have got to say that the overall winner, in my opinion, is the T-Rex Tape. It did great in all contests. I have to give second place to the old school favorite, duct tape. 
And coming in very last, we all know, is the very expensive and overrated Gorilla Tape. I hope y'all enjoyed my experiments. God bless y'all. I love you.